Hi there friends, so tonight is going to be the first video from my new channel, Kate's Face, with me, Kate Face XO. This has been something that I've threatened to do and wanted to do for about five years. Um, and finally, I'm now going to be doing something about it. So just before I do get into the video that I am going to be doing for you tonight, I just want to give you a little disclaimer and just a little bit of a heads up. So I am not trained in makeup artistry or skincare or beauty therapy or anything like that. I am fully self-taught as it were in terms of the makeup knowledge that I have, tips and tricks that I've picked up through videos, through the internet, through makeup counters. Um, so nothing that I do or say comes with any kind of legal um, or sensibility standpoint. Um, I started doing my own makeup years ago, found that I really enjoyed doing it and really liked experimenting with it and I really like the way um, makeup makes me feel. I like the way that I feel when I'm done up, I like the way that I feel when I am doing my makeup and I just like being able to kind of transform as it were. Um, we should all be comfortable in the skin that we are in but sometimes it's okay to want to improve on that. So. For my first video, I decided that one of the most important things and the number one rule of any sort of makeup video or any sort of makeup application is skincare. So skincare is the most important and if you do not have a good base for your makeup, it doesn't matter what makeup you're applying, it will not look good. <laughs> so um, with that in mind, I have my full face of makeup on at the moment um, from earlier today. So I decided that what I'm going to do for this video is I'm just going to do my kind of evening skincare routine as it were, um, going from like a full face of makeup including lashes down to kind of getting my skin ready for the end of the day and getting ready to go to bed. Um, I recently turned 30, so skincare is something that, skincare has really been important to me for years um, for various reasons. Especially after turning 30, I've decided to make a really big effort with it. I'm really lucky that up until this point, I've been really lucky, touch wood, with my skin. And that my skin is very, um, kind of dry combination, I would say almost. It definitely airs more on the dry side, but as long as I keep it maintained, it's doing really well. I have noticed some changes in my skin this year. I still seem to have quite a lot of elasticity in my skin. I'm not drying out and I'm really lucky that I only have kind of minimal signs of aging, like from my point of view. And essentially my goal is just to kind of keep that as much as possible. So, um, skincare is really quite important to me right now. So, just without any further ado, I'm just going to kind of jump in and start taking my makeup off. Just kind of show you the products that I use, um, the method that I go through, um, and then just kind of things that I have found work for me. So, with that in mind, I'm just going to start by taking off my makeup. So, to begin with, to take my makeup off, I'm going to use Garnier Micellar Water. So, lots of people use lots of different products, and um, this just works for me. I actually bought this bottle like November or December last year, um, right before I went to New York with my mum for my birthday. It is now June, <laughs> so good stuff. So, basically, just going to use a cotton pad going to put the makeup remover onto there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to first of all just kind of gently press that onto my eyes. Now I have had a full face of makeup on in the sense that false eyelashes on but I didn't really have like any eyeshadow or anything dramatic on the eyes so it is just a case of taking off my base um, as well as my eyelashes so just kind of gently soaking the eye area here the goal being that we're going to take these eyelashes off with minimal discomfort or stress. Sometimes easier said than done. There. So I like to save my lashes. So these are still in quite good nick considering they have been on my eyes today, they were on my eyes yesterday and they were on my eyes last week. So what I do is I just pick the glue off them and um, the next time I want to use them and then just reapply them. So it's going to go in. Now you have to be very gentle in the eye area, kind of goes without saying. So I'm just kind of using sweeping motions on my eyelid to take the makeup off. Using a little bit on my brows. I use brow pomade at the moment so that is a little bit harsher in terms of trying to get it off. So key is here, personally I find, not to like rub the skin too much because then you're going to aggravate it and you're going to anger it and that's obviously not what you want to be doing. So it's going to continue using the micellar water to take off my makeup. 
So the skincare process that I use is several steps. So uh, on a day like today when I've had makeup on, I use the micellar water to take all my makeup off my face. I then follow up with a cleanser just to make sure that my skin is really clear of all makeup, dirts, oils and impurities before I go in with my moisturisers and serums. So I would follow up with a cleanser. I will use an exfoliator uh, one to two times a week depending on how my skin is and that would be like a scrub of some sort usually. And I also try and use a mask once a week, whether that is... Um, depending on how my skin is, again, because I do have portions where I get slightly spottier um, in terms of hormonal, um, you know, especially in the chin. I've been getting spots here, um, which my mum helped me trace back with um, my sunglasses because they've been trapping the sweat glands. Um, so I kind of tailor make the masks to my skin, but I use a combination of sheet masks. Um, I have quite a healthy supply of the Sephora ones from my trip to New York. Um, or I also use like a, a mud mask, a cleansing, kind of exfoliating, deep, deep cleansing, peel off, that type of thing. I am a big fan of the Super Jug own brand ones and they're often like four for the price of three or you know three for two pounds. There's usually some sort of offer on them. Um, and you can also get the types of masks um, like the L'Oreal clay masks where they're in a jar and I also have kind of along that lines I do have one from Revolution and it is the pink clay mask and that one is amazing um, really good for just making the skin feel really cleansed it's really easy to apply I apply it with a brush really easy to apply sets nice and quickly um, and then it's really easy like you can clean it off it's not like one of those things where you feel like you're scrubbing at your face for ages to get rid of the mask, it does come off really easily. Um, and then your skin, it does, it looks brighter right away and it does feel wetter and cleaner. So, um, so yeah, I would then, so exfoliate once or twice a week, depending on how my skin is. Mask once a week and that day will just depend on what my schedule's like, what my skin is like. Then I would follow up with a toner. So I like to alternate my toners um, between a Clinique clarifying lotion um, Revolution Glycolic Acid Toner and also just a simple toner so that I'm not using too many acidics or too many um, kind of high quality or high intensity products in the skin too often because we don't want to you know really damage that kind of top layer so um, so now that I have taken my makeup off with my cellar water I do now do a cleanse so I have a couple of different cleansers that I like to use um, namely the Lacura Pink Clay um, hot cloth polishing one from Aldi um, but I've also started using recently this from St Ives so it's like a cleansing balm stick um, from St Ives the range that make the apricot scrubs that we all like so much so it's just like a little roller like so basically you turn it up there's three different scents for this um, which also have different qualities I've gone for the apricot and manuka honey because that's obviously good for um, moisturisation now there is coconut oil in these so I know coconut oil can sometimes be controversial in terms of skincare on the face um, because it can clog your pores however I really do find it's quite good so I've just moistened my face a little bit um, I would normally obviously do this in the bathroom for the purposes of this video I've got a little um, wash basin and washcloth here so it's going to make my face just that little bit moist and then you just go in and rub this on don't be surprised that like if you don't kind of see it going on because it's not it's like an opaque product um so you won't see it like kind of going on to the face as it were I just like to spend a good 10 to 15 seconds just kind of getting this all over the face, making sure there's no areas I have forgotten, around the sides of my nose, and usually my nose ring carves out a little bit on it. Um, when you're done with that, we just pop it back in the lid. So I'm just taking a little bit of water from my little basin. So I'm just going to rub the cleanser in. And I like to do this for a good kind of 30 seconds or so, because then I know that I'm really rubbing that cleanser in to the skin. I've already taken my makeup off with micellar water and I'm just really getting that cleanser right in, especially around the nose area, just to make sure that we are getting rid of all of the day's impurities, darts, last bits of makeup, so on and so forth. Don't forget the neck. 
And then, as I say, I would normally do this in the bathroom, but for the purposes of this video, I have brought through a face cloth as well. So I'm just going to, well, that's quite manky looking face cloth, sorry. I'm um, just going to take this all off. So it's just really important. I'm not being rough on the skin as it were. However, I do feel like using a cloth with this does help because it makes, for me, it just makes my face feel cleaner. I don't know if that's maybe just placebo or a mental thing. It's just, makes me feel like I've got the cleanser all off that I've really cleaned these impurities. Especially around the nose area because you can gather makeup there. Notice I'm not being rough on my eyes. I'm just patting the eyes. Underneath, I'm just kind of going along the lash line just to get any further remnants of makeup. Okay, top bit. Okay, so at this point, our cleansing is done. Um, so, obviously, it looked a little bit different <laughs> from what I did at the start of the video. Um, makeup is all off, eyelashes are off, skin is feeling really clean. It's actually feeling lovely and moisturised at the moment um, because I have been keeping up with the skincare. Um, so, this might sound crazy, um, however, when I have had a lot of makeup on like I have today, um, once I've done that second cleanse, I do just sweep the micellar water over my face again, just to make sure that there's not a top residue, because I feel like this is really good for just kind of cutting through that top layer of grease and residue. So, just doing that. And then one of the best things is seeing that it is nice and clean, meaning that you've taken all your makeup off. So. As I previously said, I do like to use um, different toners. So tonight I'm going to use the Glycolic Acid Toner by Revolution. So this one is 2.5%. This is the first glycolic acid toner that I have used. So that's why I've started on such a low strength. This one you can also get a 5% and the Ordinary do one in 7%. So my skin, I think maybe the first time, maybe even the first and the second time, it nipped a little bit, but I did have almost kind of broken bits on my skin, like little kind of spots and stuff. So I do think that my skin has taken a really good tolerance for it. So again, I'm just taking this on a cotton pad. It's like kind of a funny color almost. It's like a kind of golden yellowy. It does smell really nice as well. So just pouring that onto here, pouring quite a lot on. And again, we're just gonna sweep. So just sweeping the forehead, down the cheeks, around the chins, down the neck, and then again on the other side, cheeks. Now, very important that you don't do your eyes with this. I don't know if you can. I don't. Um, I learned it the hard way a long time ago when I was a lot younger, um, like 19, um, when I used Clinique Clarifying Lotion on my eyelids. Ouch. Um, so yeah, I don't use this on my eyelids. Um, you need to be so careful with your eyes and your eyelids, so just, I just don't. So, use that glycolic acid all over, and that's that done. On a side note, I am very aware that I go through so many cotton wool pads, so it is one of my things that I want to actually try getting the reusable ones that you can then use and then just pop in the washing machine, and um, maybe get like a, enough to do like kind of two nights at, like at a time, two days worth at a time, um, and then I can wash them. Um, so yeah, so this is basically the toner, that's that done. So after the toner, I like to go in with a serum. So a serum is basically going to help just lock in all the moisture. So I've currently been using the Ordinary Buffet Multi-Peptide Serum. So it's a water-based serum. Um, I think it's generally good for all skin types. I think this is one of their kind of holy grail products and I can see why. Um, this is just a normal size, but there is also the um, like kind of superior size or something they call it. It's like a massive, not massive, but it's like bigger than this. I think it's like double the size of this or a bit bigger. And I can see why, because I've only had this maybe a month and a half and I'm definitely like ready to repurchase it. Um, but I do use it quite a lot to be fair. Like I use it morning and night. Um, so yeah, couldn't recommend this enough though. It's so good. It just soaks into my skin right away. It doesn't leave me feeling greasy. It hasn't caused any breakouts. Um, a big fan of it. So basically, you see them comes in your little dropper, pop it in your hands, and then I just 
pat it on the face because I want it to absorb, especially over this cheek and nose area because this is where I get really dry. And then into the chin. Down the neck. And then I'm just going to take a tiny smidge more for the forehead. So just kind of gently rubbing that in. Be really careful not to kind of get the hairline because it is a serum so it is slightly greasy. Um, so that is going to cause problems if it does get into your hairline. Um, you know when you're about to go out or you know you're doing your daily skincare um, for example. So that's the serum. So next, um, different people obviously do skincare routines in a different way that suits them. I use my serum, my moisturiser, um, an eye cream, then a retinol at night time. So the moisturiser I'm using today is First Aid Beauty. Again, I picked this up when I was in New York at Sephora. This is their Ultra Repair Cream. So it's to help hydrate dry and parched skin, temporarily help relieve minor irritation and itching due to eczema and other conditions. It does say here, no parabens, harsh chemicals or colourants, so that's always a good sign. Um, it's a really, really nice consistency. Um, I tend to mix up my moisturisers. I also use Clinique Dramatically Different. I also use Clinique Moisture Surge um, for when my skin is really dry. I also use a simple daytime moisturiser with a high SPF in it for daytime, which I find really good. So I do like to just kind of switch them out every now and then. My skin's been quite dry over the last two weeks, so I thought I'd try this, just switch to this for a bit, and it's been working really well. So, just going to take some. So, just a little bit. It's probably too much to be fair because it does go a long way. And again, now the serum has kind of laid a really lovely base on the skin. So just putting that moisturiser on on top, down the neck. I always get like down my neck and then have to do my forehead. So forehead and again not touching the eyes. I've got eye cream for that and it is really important that you don't put anything too harsh on the eyes and even eye cream does not go directly onto the eyelids the eyes are just so sensitive it's just not worth it so that's the moisturizer on so now I'm going to take eye cream so again I switch my eye creams up I have these two that I use so I've got the simple soothing eye balm which I find really good um, for dry kind of irritated skin under the eyes also really good just as an everyday product and I also use Clinique all about all, <laughs> all about eyes moisture rich um, so basically it depuffs and takes care of dark circles so at night time I tend to use this just because I know it's slightly stronger um, and judging by the £23 difference in price I figure it's probably best for night and probably works best so just taking just a couple of bits on the under eye area and then just on the brow bone up here and then with the eye cream we're just tapping it in just nice and gently but just kind of tapping it in we're not rubbing it in too vigorously don't want it getting too close to the eye line it's just going to take care of this whole eye area including these little baby crow feet that have made their little nest on my face so same with the other eye Excellent. So, now the last product that I use, or I will be using tonight, so again, as I said, started using better skincare, focusing on my skincare and ageing, um, and basically try, just trying to prevent um, early ageing and just trying to do what I can. So I started in introducing a retinol to my skincare. So first of all, retinol should only be used at night, because with retinol it gets absorbed by the sun's rays, so there's you're just wasting your time if you're putting it on during the day, basically. Um, so retinol should only be applied at night, and also retinol is a very sensitive um, ingredient, so basically I've never used retinol before, so I started with the retinol 0.2% in squalene. So this goes 0.2%, 0.5%, then it's like 1%, 2%, 5% and 10% I think so basically I apply this I started off applying this every second night now that my skin's kind of used to it and I haven't had any kind of backlash from using it I'm going to be using it every night and then once this bottle is finished you can see that there's so much still left in it because a little bit of retinol goes a long way but when this finishes I can go up to the next strength which is 0.5% so Nothing crazy with the retinol, very similar to the serum. However, the way I do apply it is slightly different because it is very fluidy, very wet. So 
instead of applying it to my fingers where it's gonna it's gonna literally fall through my fingers and be absorbed by my hand I'm just gonna apply it directly onto the face so it does go down the face rather quickly so I'm just gonna catch that and with this I really do just press it in to the skin so just pressing it because we want that to do its job we don't want to rub it all off the skin or rub it off into the hands, so just pressing it onto the skin. And basically, if by the end of this you look like a greased up Christmas turkey ready to go in the oven, you've done it right. So that is basically it for this video. I just really wanted to kind of do a small video to start with um, and just to try and introduce what I'm trying to do here. As I said, skincare is super, super important and especially important to me, which is why I started with this video. Um, once again, disclaimer, I'm not professional, I've not been trained. This is just what I do for my skin and for my makeup. Um, and it's also purely for my enjoyment. Um, my friends and my family <laughs> have uh, been pressuring me as it were to do these videos so if you like the video if you could let me know give it a thumbs up tell your friends tell your family tell your dog tell your boyfriend um and yeah if this goes down quite well and it is well received i'll go and do a morning skincare next and that kind of takes care of the am and pm and then we can maybe get into some makeup videos maybe do some kind of step by step like just do brows one day and just do base the other day um so yeah Marie agrees. So yeah, that's my kind of mini plan as it were. So again, if you do like this video, let me know. I'd really love your feedback. I'd really love to know what you liked about it, what I could improve on, and um, if you want to keep watching. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked it. Bye.